Hey everyone, Andre here from SWL and today I'm doing an unboxing of the Tivoli Model 1 Bluetooth. This is by no means a new radio, it's been in the market for a very long time. The Tivoli line was founded in the year 2000 already and these radios are designed by an audio engineer, Henry Kloss. The purpose was to create functional but luxury tabletop radios with a specific focus on FM. Now I've had my eye on this radio ever since I first saw it online in 2016, seven years ago. It's just never been available in South Africa and having to import this from the US would have cost me quite a bit of money. It's, it's on sale in the US at about $200 on, on most websites also on Tivoli's own website. But the last couple of months I noticed that this radio suddenly became available in South Africa and at a very special price. It ranges between about 2,000 Rand and 2,500 Rand. So that's roughly about $100 to $112. So half the US price, which is a bit surprising. I don't quite know and understand why that is. It's just I felt that I'm lucky I can get this at half the US price. No import taxes, no other fees, no shipping fees available in the local market. So I really seized the opportunity, saved up a bit. And today I was able to go and get one just in a local electronics shop. You can also order this online. It's advertised quite widely. So as I said, this radio has been around for a while. The Model 1 Bluetooth was launched in the year 2012, 2012. So it's been around. Most reviews on Amazon are very good. I haven't ever seen any reviews focusing on the AM reception, which is kind of what I'm interested in. I don't know. I, I really have no expectation. I don't know how it will do on AM. But... Apparently it's really good on FM and it is really, it's got really, really excellent sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the basic unboxing, plug it in, switch it on, maybe try to tune into one or two FM stations and one or two AM stations. And then I'll do a fuller review later on, as I do with all my radio reviews. But yeah, this is an aspirational buy. It's quite different from all the other radios that I have. It uh, those are all portable shortwave receivers, smaller receivers. This is a nice big tabletop radio. It's just something that I've always wanted. So I'm quite excited. I don't know. I don't know what I will find, but let's see. As you can see, the box it's really quite a big box. Not much on the box. It's the name of the model. AM FM Bluetooth radio in English and in French. And there on the side we've got Tivoli Audio. Yeah. The color I got is Walnut Beige. I got the European version. Uh, our plugs here in South Africa and the power supply is more compatible with Europe than with the US. So we got the European version. Gross weight 2.4 kilograms. Tivoli Audio, Boston, Massachusetts, US, designed in the US, made in China, and 2012. As I said, this, this radio was released in 2012. So I don't know, maybe there's a new version coming up and they are getting rid of old stock and that's why we got these in South Africa at a cheaper price. Who knows? But I don't mind. Now I've got my Tivoli. So nothing at the bottom. At the top, only the name. Right, let's see. Opening the box, there is the manual. Quite a hefty manual. In various languages. Here we go, English, Danish, German, Spanish, French, Italian, Dutch, Norwegian, Finnish, and Swedish. Okay, so I'll be able to read the Dutch and uh, English versions. And the Spanish, I speak a bit of Spanish. Yeah, okay, nicely packaged, Tivoli Audio, as you can see. 
And these are right here. There's nothing else there. There's the antenna. I know in some markets there's a wire antenna. There's a power cable. As you can see, it's got the European two point flux. And that's it. And there's the radio. Move it from there. There we go. Feels quite heavy. So let's have a look at the antenna. At the back there are of course quite a number of ports on this one. You can you have an auxiliary in so you can input other music from other sources. There's the headphone jack. That's for the power. There's the external antenna right there. If you want to use an external antenna, that's also for a 12 volt DC power input. And here you can switch the FM antenna between internal and external. Right. So let's move this one. Very, very strong and thick antenna, as you can see. So, pull it up. Yeah, it's also quite long, as you can see. I'm going to plug it in, switch it on, just spin the dial one or two stations on FM and on AM. There's our power cable. It's quite a long cable, so you're not tied to where your plug point is in terms of where you're going to put this radio. It's one of the selling points of this radio is the extremely simple functionality. You have only a few buttons, well, three buttons or dials on the front. The tuning, the volume, and this one on and off and selecting whether you're using FM, AM, auxiliary or Bluetooth. Okay, so let's turn this thing on and see what we can find. I'm just going to tune into just two or three stations maybe quickly. I'll do a fuller review later. It's just a first initial quick check. Bit loud. On a two gig red core data plan for only in Jewish symbolism, the tree of life. Yeah, the station is 101.9 high of him, which means most local Jewish station. And having that staff turned into a serpent is something which is very confusing theologically. And this is 102.7 hot FM. At night they play classical music. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can pick up Pretoria FM, which is 104.2, usually hard to get. Is that a first board there, man? Hey, man, my mother is almost seven. Someone could bore her over the head with a bat. Wow, a bat. Same difference, man. Yeah, this is Pretoria FM. It's not clear, but I don't usually pick this up on any of my radios. I, I, I pick it up, but not clearly. So, okay, this one's got it. Ja, mit uns 
This comes from Pretoria City, obviously. I'm in Johannesburg, so it's it's a bit of a distance. It's not aimed at where I am. Okay, so let's have a quick look at AM. This is 1548 Radio Islam, also a local station, but very weak signal. But yeah, the reception is not good, yeah. I think with an external AM antenna it might make a difference. And I think this is 639, the Sutu National Broadcasting Service. This is 909 Voice of America from Botswana. Strange interference though. came out and talked about the importance of girls' education. We saw that in when the community stood up and requested that the girls' schools be open, the fathers were... Okay, so that was 963 Emisau Provincial de Tete. It's from Mozambique, uh, quite distant, 1,200 kilometers, 780 miles. And this one. Emisau Provincial de Manica, which is from a place called Chimoyo in Mozambique, 1,000 kilometers, 600 miles. So yeah, it does seem to pick up some distant AM signals. Let's just try if I put in the loop antenna. There. <laughs> Okay, that's actually quite impressive. I think it reacts very well to the loop and the signal improves significantly. That is what I was hoping for because I knew that its own AM antenna doesn't work so well, but it works well with the loop. That was just a quick spin around. Uh, I will do a fuller test later, but so far I'm quite happy. I think the sound is nice. That's back on FM 102.7. Clear, nice sound. So 
So yes, that's good. On AM it picks up signals. I might be able to use it for a bit of DXing. Tuning dial works well. Good. That's my unboxing and first look at the Tivoli Audio Model 1 BT. So far, happy chappy. <laughs>